This is a beautiful piece of furniture, but it is so much more than that because it tells you time. Not just the ordinary time of an average day, but this particular clock also tells us the solar time, how long it takes the Earth to revolve around the sun. It also can tell you what month of the year and what date of the year. Not everybody in the 18th century had access to time as we have it. This clock was an object of prestige, I would say, and certainly a conversation piece that might express the interest in scientific developments that the owner would have admired it for. Ferdinand Berthoud, the Swiss clockmaker, was responsible for the movement of the clock. And he was invited to show this movement at the Academy of Sciences in Paris in April of 1752. And there is this little commemorative plaque inside referring to the fact. And as a result, Louis XV himself invited Berthoud to become a master of the French guild. We can imagine that in this important household where it might have been, clocks played a very important role to make the household function according to a certain rhythm. It would be important to serve dinner on time or to wake the master on time. But the joy of this clock, I think, that it expresses uh, the Rococo style very beautifully. Balthazar Lyotot was responsible for the case. Just look at the swelling of the foot and then the tapering of the trunk, inspired by naturalistic forms like shells and flowers, showing very clearly the grain of the wood, this beautiful pattern of radiation. And then on the front, stylized flowers, giving you a sense of movement and life. But the gilt bronze, there you see how it really explodes, if you will, it's like fireworks which would have reflected the moving light of the flames from the fireplace or the moving light of a candle. And it really draws our attention right to the face of the clock, which is beautifully engraved. This clock is in working condition, and uh, we are very pleased about that. It will surprise some of our visitors when they hear all of a sudden the clock strike. That gives the element of sound to our otherwise quiet galleries. This clock, in a way, does what we use our smartphones for uh, today, telling us uh, many different aspects of time and time passing. <laughs>